day. I'm back in the kitchen. Um, there's going to be holidays coming up, and you might have some unexpected guests stopped over. You don't have anything to fix, but if you keep in your kitchen some of the biscuits you can get at any grocery store, and you have your spices, you can put in, in your cheddar cheese, you can make roll up, pinwheel roll-ups, and they're a good appetizer hors d'oeuvres. What you need is to, first of all, get your cheese grated. Buy it in the block, that way you save money. You don't pay for already being done. You could do it if you have a cheese grater. So you just grind, you just grate your cheese, about maybe two cups of cheddar cheese or cheese of your preference, okay? Just good cheese. You can even give it an Italian flair, but we're doing it the simple way because a lot of people just like uh, simple hors d'oeuvres, you know, cheese. Kids love cheese roll-ups. And it can even help you, you know, if they're bored, just say, come on, we're going to make um, some cheese roll-ups. And you could also use uh, little hot dogs and make little little hot dog uh, pigs in a blanket with the, with the biscuit dough. Um, the dough is very versatile, and you don't have to worry about yeast and flour and all this stuff. You can also make a hot pocket. You can make a hot pocket. Economical. And uh, later on, I'm going to make uh, cinnamon rolls also with the same biscuit, with the, with the biscuit, canned biscuits. So what we have, and I'm going to just grate this cheese while I'm doing it. But it's easier just to buy the then block. You can always throw the cheese in a Ziploc yeah, bag. Yeah, you can a Ziploc bag and put it on uh, an omelet. Macaroni or cheese. Macaroni cheese. Uh, uh, pizza. Chili cheese dogs. Chili cheese dogs. Che uh, chili cheese fries. Whatever you like. you know. Cheesy tater tots. Tater tots. <laughs> tater tots. And I did, did I tell you, I did buy measuring spoons. Yeah. I didn't have them the last time. At, at the dollar store. Dollar Tree. And these are Tupperware. They're old-timey uh, Tupperware measuring cups. They're antiques. They're antiques, like me. No. 50 years at least. Oh, well, it came blue, see? But that's okay. Because they're Dollar Tree. Well, they're that's Dollar okay. Tree. Uh, what can I say? It doesn't matter. And with uh, this doing this, you can start planning ahead for your holidays. And you know, it's uh, Christmas and New and uh, Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving and Halloween, and just you know, you're gonna have parties, and people are always hungry, so you're gonna have to have quick ideas on hand. Is it? Oh, I gotta go to the store. Well, if you go to the grocery store and you buy all your things ahead of time for a pinch, I say pinch hit. That way you have that way you don't have to say oh to your. Uh, mate or your significant other up oh, need to go to the store buy it when you're at the store you know you can save money and gas and whatever so now always make a list before you go shop list before you go shopping and that, stick to the list that way you know what you need and i have a lot of good um, and eat before you go shopping eat before you go and i have a lot not to change the subject but i made up little i make up little invitations for for y'all that way, I can, if you want personalized little invitation uh, cards, just ask me, and I'll be happy to make them for you. That way, No I, charge. No charge. It's free. And free is what? It's no catch. No, no, no uh, charges. And I'm no, not, no fine print. No fine print. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a 77-year-old grandmother, retired. Been there, done that, and now it's time to just have fun with and give it back. And, and, give, and back. give back to what God has given you, and, and you receive when you you give, you receive. So now, kitties, I have the grated cheese. See, that was so easy. Now comes the fun part, and you can get your kids involved in this. Move this over, and this is the biscuit dough. It's pretty well fat but you're gonna just take two cans they're real cheap they're like two for a dollar you don't can get, always buy the generic buy the generic you don't, can buy the name brand but buy the name brand but if, if your mate wants you to save money 
You'll save money. Okay. By the generic. Make sure you throw it in the garbage. Yeah, I generic. just take off my rings. Ta da Now you have, let me move some of this stuff out of here. Now you have your biscuits, and you're going to stretch them out. Kids love to do this. You're going to stretch these out to you, like in your sheet pan. It's really easy. There's one, two, three. Well, you can make a nice little dib on here. And they're, they're quick, and people, and you don't have anything it for them to snack on, and they, unexpected people, this is good. Give them this and a glass of iced tea or whatever, or beer or whatever. I don't drink beer, but. A glass of milk. A glass of milk. Or a partridge in a pear tree. But don't ever say you don't have anything to feed anybody. There's always something in the pantry. Now, we have this like here. See? That's your... Take out your frustrations on your dough. And it's just so easy. How many servings will this yield? Oh, maybe six. Six? Six. Depends. Regular servings? Yeah. they're Or, just, or 12 small servings. They're little bites. 12 little servings. See how nice. Then you can get your dill. Dill spice dill, dry. Your dill spice. You can get this from the Dollar Tree. Don't go spend a lot of money in these fancy gourmet things when you get the same thing. It's the same. You're not paying for the fancy bottle. And you can get um, some pepper because he's going to be spicy. And you're going to sprinkle a little bit of pepper. But don't put salt because it's already don't got, put salt, it's already got enough cheese. salt with the cheese in the you dough. And you take your cheese. Salt you will make just, it tough. And you just line it down like this. You don't even need all this cheese because you're going to roll these up. Yeah. Then you're going to get these and you're going to roll them. But make sure roll you... Roll away from you? Roll away. Roll away. Just make sure... Get a nice log. You have a, a nice log. And if they get pinched here, that that's okay. And you put a little bit more cheese. You have cheese for hot dogs. Yay. You don't want to over-cheese it. Just enough to... Don't overdo it. Just for a filling. Less is more. More is less. See? And if they fall apart, pinch it together. So pinch it together. It's that's what your hands are for. It's going to come out nice. A pinch is a pinch is a pinch. And make sure you close the ends. Okay, now, ta-da! You can, you can have your pinch it down. This is a really versatile recipe, and it's easy. You can make it in the in the pin-up pin rolls, or you can make a log. Turn it over. See how nice and chubby that is. These are gonna get fat. And you have your log. Now what I can do is um, I'm going to cut the pinwheels ahead of time. Uh, I lost my knife. Okay. And you're going to cut pinwheels. And you're going to lay them like this and you're going to Flatten them down. There's your pinwheel and pinwheel. And you have another pinwheel flat down. I should cut this on the board, but that's okay. I'm and being, then they'll get all over the board. It'll be all over the board. Pinwheel. You might get a, quite a few servings out of this. But it's easy and it's a good it's a good mix for when you have people coming over and they say, Oh my gosh. I just happened to stop by. Well, okay. Now you got something to feed. Somebody. Now you got something to feed them. I'll probably stay for dinner. Feed your 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 family. Your neighbors or well, if they come over. Guests. They come over for a, a, unexpectedly. Stop by. Stop by, and you can serve this with um, some lunch meat or 
whatever you think they'll, you know. But it's a good little, it's a good little treat. And kids love this. And get them involved because um, kids want to be where they want to be self-worth. And, and don't be yelling at them and, and don't and say, go sit in the corner. Well, give them something to do. Uh, get your mind working because a lazy mind is a mind that gets in trouble. Yep. And there's your pinwheels. You don't have to worry about moving them down because I'm not going to move them because they're going to get all yucky. And just give it a good flat. See? Yep. See your pinwheel. Okay. And then you can sprinkle a little bit more dill on there. It makes them fancy, savory. Another little dash of pepper. No salt. And you put them in the oven and you bake them. Uh, let's see, because these are all different. Oven to 400, but well, I put it on 300. And you bake 10 to 13 minutes until they're brown. And that's the first step with canned rolls. I'll let you see the finished product in 10 to 12 minutes. Thank you, and stay tuned. Thank you.